Hi, my name's John. Welcome to another Sunday night nightcap. In tonight's nightcap, I do a modification on a, a shaft. It's an axle of some description. It's very hard and it's got a, a metric thread on and I've got to pick the thread up and extend the thread. I'll show quite a lot of that, uh, how I set it up, how I managed to pick the thread up and eventually you do get the job done. In part two, I'll show a little bit more of the rear steam engine. I've actually got the oil pump up and working now and I give it a little run on compressed air and then a little run on steam just to prove that things are working the way they're supposed to be. The weddings and night videos are going quite well. Um, I've had a few suggestions for different topics that you'd like us to cover. If there's anything you'd like us to cover, given my knowledge and my machinery and abilities, just leave a message and I'm sure I'll be able to sort something out for you. If you want to see more of me with a little bit more swearing in no adverts, have a look on the Patreon channel. This is an interesting little job I've got to do. I've got to put some more threads on there. I need to make a plug to go in the end of there so I can put a centre in. So if we measure it, 30 mil. If we zero advernia, it is now zeroed at 30 mil. So if I machine a bit of bar down to get that 30 mil, I can use Alvernia set at that and it'll show me exactly how much material I need to take off the bar to get down to 30 mil. We'll go at the lathe and I'll show you exactly how it works. Right, so I've got no idea what size that is. I don't even know what size it is. I need to know that the vernier is set to the size I want. So that's telling me we need 5.4 mil off there. So if I take a 2.5 mil cut, which is going to give us 5 mil, you can use the graduation on the hand wheel, I can use a DRO. For rough work, I use a hand wheel. Look at that bastard. Nasty stuff. Right, so now we're left with 0.87 so basically a 0.4 cut should get that down to size I'm going to do a 0.3 cut because I want it to be a tight fit in the job 0.3 and So now it says it's 0.17 over size, which is not a great lot, so we'll try it in there, and that will knock in, that will hammer in. So now if we measure it, zero the vernier, or the colour of our we'll measure that. And it is 30.2 Let me part that off Right, so that needs to be a nice tight fit in there, which it looks like it's going to be. Right, we can knock it out from that in we want it out. It just means that when I get this trolled up in the lathe, I can put a live centre in there, and it's just going to stop it flexing, give it a little bit more strength. I've got this part in the lathe, and I need to increase the length of that thread by 20 mil. The thread looks like 1.5mm metric, 
it is 1.5 mil metric I'm bringing the camera in so you can see that thread gauge fitting in there perfectly right so it is dead on 1.5 I can cut that no problem because this is a metric lathe but what I need to do is pick this thread up right extend the thread not just put more threads on so I'm going to pick the thread up the first thing I need to do is make sure it's running as true as possible in the lathe I've got it in a three jaw chuck and we we'll have put some plastic in the end so I can put a steady into it and that is running within a thou and a half which is probably going to be good enough for what I've got to do this chuck is built onto a back plate and there's a little bit of wiggle room between the chuck and the back plate so I should be able to bump it around and get it absolutely spot on we we'll simply loosen these three cap head bolts off like that right, we need to find the high spot see the gauge there, find the high spot which is there so it wants to go across that way a little bit high spot again is there Right, so now we're less than a thou. Put as good as it gets, I would think that. Let's see the gauge there. Right, I'm going to settle for that. Right, so we're in one thou. Very happy. Could have possibly machined this thread without putting a, a, a tail stock steady in. I could have put a fixed steady on there. But for what it takes to put one in, it's not a great lot of time and it's gonna make it it's gonna make the job right. Have a look. The trouble is this is hard. Right, so that's got that gripped quite nicely. So I need 20 mil of threads. So I'm going to put a mark on there at 20 mil, and I'm going to put it as deep as that thread. Okay, so 20 mil of thread. Which is there. And I'm going to put a mark on. Like I say, this stuff is it's hard really hard I've tried to fail on it I'm seeing that it is it is machinable oh that is hard that bastard this is just somewhere for the screw cutting tool to drop into This is not very nice at all this. Not nice. Anything to make a cut that seems to be better there. That 
seems to have found a, a happy medium as far as speed goes. Right, this is a 1.5mm screw cutting insert that we need to set so it's exactly square to the job and this is the easiest and simplest way of doing it. Simply bring it up against the choke like that. I know it's on centre A because I use it all the time. Right, so I've set the lathe up to cut a 1.5mm thread. Right, I'm going to engage the lead screw on a whole number on the indicator which is there and I'm simply going to stop the lathe. And if I move in the compound slide I've got to try and get that tool right in the centre of that thread. And it isn't very far away there, we'll start it again. It's not a kick in the arse away. It's picking up the 1.5mm thread. I hope you can see this. It's following the thread. And if we put a little bit of cut on, Right, I've decided I'm just going to leave the lead screw engaged and I'm going to back off the tool and just reverse the lead. I'll set a zero on the cross slide, back it out. It's only a short thread and this is the, the safest way to do it. Bear in mind I'm just a mechanic that pisses about. Right, so we'll wind the tool in again. Pour on the thread. Right, it's exactly the same place because it didn't really cut on. But we will the next time. Right, it's following the thread, wind the tool in. And that's two tenths. Oh, see that's good. That's absolutely horrible that. This is gonna take a while. Bloody hell. That is stupid hard that. I'll try a little bit of snot on there, see if that helps. Won't do any harm. Which certainly seems to make it uh, make it cut better. Very really impressed. We'll just carry on like this until we get the thread down to full depth. Right, so it's laid forward. Into zero plus 0 0.1 of a cut. And on the clutch, you don't let go of that because it's important. Cut nicely now. It must get this whole initial surface hardness. Reverse the layers.
and they were touching the thread all the way down very near we'll do a spring cut on the same setting cut really nice it must have been up and through the initial hardness chips are coming off very nice and this same will go right back to the beginning of the thread put exactly the same cut on basically just clean the shade out of it a bit more here because it's actually doing some work fortunately I've got the nut to try on here I don't know where I've put the bastard but I've got it that's a nice sharp bright thread Right, that's nice. I'm just going to leave it at that. It's slightly tight out on this part of the thread. I could do one more, one more spring cut in exactly the same setting. But it's good. Really good. Right, oh, just a gauge now. Happy with that. No piss wobbles. Just nice. That's a good job. I enjoy doing that. It's it, when you're doing that. You can't think of anything else, it's total concentration because it's so easy to make a mess of it. It hasn't damaged that because it's really hard. Uh, in case of knocking that, that plug out to the end of there now, it's well worth putting that centre in. Handy stuff, that plastic. Very handy. 